this was on the ground. <laughs> but we had to we had to drive through a ton of cows on the road. That's, that's what's in Mexico. Yeah. You know, the cows are so red at. And I, I think and Mexico. Um, now there's a lot of cows in Mexico. There's a lot and of ocean in Mexico. Ocean? No. Ocean! There's no ocean in Mexico? Yes, yes there is. Spanish Me Mexico? No. Yeah? No. Uh -uh. Only <laughs> English. Only English Mexico. And I have two horses that are so crazy in their Mexico. So I have two uncles that live there. It's, I have like, a uh, uncle that always goes to into the field to help the horses and the sheep. Because the sheep always die. Right. I go along the coastline mostly in Mexico. That's where I go. Yo miro que uh, tienen amistad. Tienen amistad en el grupo de Camila en Kindergarten. Hay de los dos como mitad hispanos, mitad americanos, pero es un solo grupo. Yo los miro muy, muy unidos. Es algo que me gusta. Comparten su idioma. A veces cuando voy a la escuela de voluntaria, al salón, eh, los niños um, que hablan solamente inglés repiten lo que yo digo en español. Hola, ¿cómo estás? So, ellos tratan de, de hablar nuestro idioma. Se sienten bien. In the classroom, like they all love each other and they're all friends and, and we're doing so much with the social interactions that, you know, and I do, you know, integrated center activities. So the kids are always mixed up and they're rotating and, you know, they're, they have no social issues in the classroom with getting along with each other and forming friendships. Um, I will say in the playground, which I think is totally normal, a lot of times the kids will self-segregate because in my class, all the kids are learning, um, it's all the instructions in English. So there's kids... You know, I have you know half of my kids who are second language learners, so they're always constantly thinking and learning in their second language, which is really hard. I mean, but as soon as they get out to that playground, a lot of times they will self-segregate. So I think they can just breathe and decompress, and they can just think and play in their their first language. You know, on the parent level, definitely we segregate ourselves because there's not a lot of us that are bilingual. And I don't think it's from lack of wanting to interact, it's from lack of abil you know, <laughs> ability to communicate. There are other social things that then are implications. For instance, the Latino families are not used to things such as playdates. That's just not within their culture. It doesn't mean they can't learn about it, but it does mean that if we want, if we value that and the parents value that, then we help to kind of mediate that for families in the beginning so that Anglo parents are helped in meeting Latino families. Latino families are introduced to our Anglo families so they feel so comfortable and safe and know what's going to be happening with their children. Um, that's a difference. Uh, another difference would be, for instance, if, if you have a birthday party, then typically it's not just the children come for Latino families. But the whole family comes. All right. And so it, it, it's something that we all can learn from. And it does change a bit in terms of how we have to organize and how, if, if Anglo families come to our school, how things might uh, socially happen for them. But it's not. It's, it's a great experience. We have this bigger worldview that it's not just about them and it's not just about, you know, other kids from entitled kids from Boulder. And, um, I think that they realize more the gifts that they have and realize more um, how lucky we are um, in some ways. But I also think they realize um, that whole family thing and how important family is to everyone because it's so important in the Latino culture. And I love that they are getting that value that we believe in reinforced through other kids in the Latino culture. But you know, it's not, my kids don't come home demanding stuff. My kids don't come home demanding to be in six different, you know, after school activities because it's not the norm. She's really nice to me and I know her as in kindergarten. Um, we knew each other since we were in kindergarten and we became best friends in kindergarten. Uh, because we were, um, we went outside and I had nobody to play and uh, 
Um, her and another girl came to want to play with us. I don't remember any of that. <laughs>